Hey guys, I want to show you just a quick cool down that you can do after any 10 rounds workout. I'm going to stretch every day because I feel like every workout is total body. And the other reason is sometimes I feel more sore on the second day. So if you've done legs, now you've done um, cardio, you still might have some residual soreness in your legs. So I'm going to walk you through all of it. So we'll start with our top and work our way down. So the very first stretch that I'm going to show you is one of my favorites is a shoulder stretch. So you're just going to take your arm across. And you can either grip right here below your elbow or you can come all the way up. But I like to grab below my elbow. I can really feel it right there. You want to extend the stretch. You can look the opposite direction. And you'll feel a little bit more in the back of your shoulder. Now once you stretch that, you're going to take your arm up and grab your tricep or your elbow. And you're going to feel that stretch all along the back of your arm, the tricep. And you just want to make sure that you're Shoulders are staying down and away from your neck to get that really good stretch. So now we'll do the other shoulder. And if you want, you can extend out and look the opposite direction. Then you'll take your arm up, it's not belly again, and just pull that um, elbow down. And your hand will sit in between your shoulder blades. And you always want to stretch your shoulders before stretching your triceps. That'll just help protect them. Now we've stretched the back of the arm, we're going to stretch the front of the arm. So you can just grab your fingers and push down, and that'll stretch that forearm and part of your bicep. Do that on the other side. Now we want to stretch our back. So I'm going to take my hands forward and round my back. You should feel that all along the upper back. And then the counterpart is your chest. So we're going to place our hands behind our back and pull up. And you can hold these longer than I am. I'm just trying to show you. So that way, if you just want to do a quick little stretch, you can do it and I'm not keeping you too long. Now we've stretched our upper body. I want to stretch kind of the middle part of our body. So I'm going to take one leg over and I'm going to take this hand up and I'm going to push this hip to that wall and push my arm to the opposite wall. And this is going to stretch this whole front part of your hip and your stomach. Which is really nice because Joel's working our abs every day. So again, reach up and I like to exhale and your switch in opposite directions. And that's just really good. So now we're going to get into your lower body. So the first is going to work this um, front part of your leg, your quad. So you're just going to grab your leg. I like to use both hands. You can just hold it with one or you can hold it with two. Um, and if you don't have a really great balance yet, or this is just you know, maybe a great balance, but if you're just not having it today, you can always hold on to something. You can hold on to, you know, your step or, you know, like whatever, a wall, a person. Um, I'm gonna stretch the other one. Um, let's see which side I do better on. Um, and I'm making sure that this knee is staying behind the other knee. Uh, neither leg is locked out. And I can just pull up. And I'm gonna fill that in the quads. Now, you want to also stretch your hamstrings. I bet these are really tight. Mine are always tight. Um, there's a couple different ways. I like to, let's see if I can show you. Um, I like to take this leg and leave it kind of with a small bend. And my back leg is totally straight. I'm just going to lean forward. My back is straight. My toe is up. And this is the leg, the straight leg is where I'm feeling it. And I'm just hold it. Now I do the other leg. So take this leg. I'm going to extend. I'm pushing this toe to the ceiling, and it just really feels good on that back part of my leg. You can even feel it a little bit in my calves. Another way that you could stretch your hamstrings is to do a forward fold. So you could just come straight down. I have a slight bend in both of my knees, and you just want to go as far as you can. So you may just even be like right here and feel it. So that's a stretch for your um, ham hamstrings. You want to stretch your inner thighs. You can always come down, this has to be a wonderful view. And I just want to take my hands and push a little bit out on both of my knees, just gently, and you can feel it all right here. So those are a couple of stretches for your lower body if you still feel tight, or your butt feels tight. One of my favorites is a figure four. So you can take one leg over and come down. Now this is requiring a lot of balance, and you want to make sure that your hips are staying straight back, not leaning one direction. Um, you want to just push them straight back. I'm keeping this foot flexed because it helps protect the knee. Um, I'm hoping you can see that. It's kind of dark. 
Um, if you can't do that, you can always lay down. Let's see if I can do this in an attractive way. Um, I'm just gonna lay down and I'm gonna do it on uh, the ground. So you can just do like this, um, and that might be enough for you. You can also come up, and then you might feel it that way. If not, you can always take your hands underneath your shins and pull forward. You wanna make sure that this elbow is pushing down and then you're gonna push up with this leg. So I'm pulling with my hands to pull it towards my face. And that is your total body pull down, or that's what I like to do. Um, feel free to use this anytime that you want. And if it helped, let me know in the comments. If you're looking for a beach buddy coach, make sure that you reach out to me and my mom. Uh, we run Story Fitness and we would love to help you. Our email is thegirls at storyfitness.com and I'll include it anywhere I post this video. All right, see y'all later.